Hi, I'm Jorge, I'm from Spain and I'm spending a good time here in Nagy Death Sony. Um, we are very happy here, we are learning a lot of things how, how to pronounce Nagy Death Sony and I also learned that my my name could be pronounced in so many ways like Jorge Jorga on, on Jorge and I, I'm learning that a lot. Um, hi, I'm Anna and I'm from Denmark and one of the most important things that I learned here is how to connect with people from different personalities and I think that's a really cool thing that I learned a lot here. Uh, <laughs> Hello, my name is Silvia and I'm from Spain. Uh, I'm so happy to be here because I <laughs> do a lot of friends to different nationalities, different cultures, different language and I learned so much about all of them and I don't want <laughs> to go. Uh, I don't know more. <laughs> yes, it's fine. Huh? <laughs> Hello, I'm Aurelian from France and I choose the world community uh, for two reasons. First, because uh, we live in a community, because we have to live with uh, other people from different countries. And uh, it's really good, really. And we learn so many things by this. And the second reason is because uh, we help the community in uh, Najba Join. I'm not sure my pronunciation is really good, because we have amazing Hungarian listeners. But I hope it's good. <laughs> so. Uh, yes, we help uh, the community of uh, Natva Join <laughs> because we actually we are doing painting on the benches and on the bridge on the tennis club and we do really different activities and it's really good and uh, I'm really happy to be here, so thanks. Woo. <laughs> Hello, my name is Alison. I live in Spain, but I'm from Ecuador. Uh, the culture is very important because it is good the no other way of living, other people and um, with this to learn to grow as a person. Hello, my name is Guilherme, I'm from Portugal and um, this volunteering experience has been quite eye-opening. Of course, I have the entire cliche of getting to meet people from um, the rest of Europe, getting to know a lot of their, or some basic surface level stuff of their culture, that still helps a lot. But um, I also got to, for the first time, work for real. I had done a small internship, but it, it, it was two weeks or so, so it, I don't really count it as work experience. I got to have actual work experience here with schedules and uh, tasks for me to complete, um, which was quite wonderful. I got to meet the amazing mentors we had, which uh, helped us a lot, preparing us uh, for the day-to-day the -day that we had to go through. Also really wonderful to get to work with just so many wonderful people from so many different countries. We also got to get uh, little bit of a free time on the weekends which was really nice for uh, exploring the country which was it's a really really good uh, place that i advise anyone interested on in travel to come to and uh, i do believe that is how hello my name is uh, julian rispacher and i came from austria i talk a little bit about hungary it's a really beautiful place here, the weather is always really good here. The people are so kind to me, it feels like a second family for me to be here. We have already visited Budapest and it, it, and it was really, really excited there. We have met so many people and they were always happy and welcoming us. And one thing is really cool here in Hungary because it's really cheap. And I, I love the culture with the people, they are so great here and I feel really free here because you don't need any mask here, 
you can go everywhere you want it's really great here my name is Marcel I'm come from Austria uh, I come to Hungary it's to learn the English and I love Hungary hi I'm Kelly and I am from Estonia um, I choose the word solidarity because of um, uh, the people here they definitely have like different backgrounds and so it's so interesting to uh, to start to learn uh, them and um, and, uh, and and understand these uh, youth problems that uh, that we all have actually the same problems uh, about law and uh, and uh, to be accepted uh, it uh, from other people. Okay. So hello, my name is Claudia. I'm from Portugal, and my word is independence because I think that. Uh, one of the most important things that I learned here was um, to learn how to be alone with you in other country. You are not really alone. You are, you are with a lot of people, but you have to learn how to contact with them alone without help. Um, and because it was like really good for me to think um, in other ways to see new things. It's like a new, a new good experience to learn more about you and about yourself and what you feel. <laughs> it was completely amazing to be able to help out the local community. We did a couple of different jobs. We spent a decent amount of time scratching uh, the rust and repainting the fences on the football field. We make some benches for the youth center so that people have a decent uh, place to stay outside. We had an amazing day with kids. It was completely amazing. It was not too hard not being able to communicate with them actually. Because we, we still had a lot of fun with them. We had uh, a bunch of games prepared for them and I'm really sure that all of them completely enjoyed the experience. Are you liking? Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. We remove all the grasses, as you can see, it's beautiful. We also helped out to clean up some of the overgrowing weeds on the monastery, make the place a little bit tidier and nicer. We also cleaned out some of the trash that was on the place, unfortunately. We also followed by helping out on the tennis club. We helped out paint uh, some, of the, some of the buildings there and the bridge and we helped out clear um, the little canal they have there. So it was really wonderful to be able to, to help out the local community on this way. It was overall a really amazing experience to be able to come over here to a really small town in Hungary, help out the locals in whatever meaningful way we could, make a lot of connections internationally and um, even the local youths, they started growing on us and I guess we also started growing on them and it was really, really a very amazing uh, time and I hope we are able to come back at some point in the future. So thank you very much.